Hello friends, you know 2015 was a year of absolute hype and buzz when it comes to Bible prophecy predictions. There were almost 1.4 million Google searches in the month of September alone for the phrase end time prophecy. We're going to look at the top 10 failed predictions of 2015. Please share this video with like-minded friends. Coming in at number 10, the 500 days to avoid climate chaos. 500 days to avoid climate chaos. French Prime Minister and John Kerry declared that May 14th, 2014, that we had only 500 days to avoid climate chaos. The expiration of that date was September 25th, 2015. What happened? Failed. Now I want to say that this is by no means a cry for peace and safety video. The statistics are telling us that the weather is in fact getting worse. And all true Bible signs are telling us that we are living in the end of time. However, we have to be careful about making something out of things that are not real Bible prophecies. Number 9. Muslim clerics predicting the return of the Mahdi, which is the Islamic Messiah, September 2015. According to a prophecy by the prophet Ali bin Abi Talib, who says just before the coming of Mahdi, a tall black man will take command of the West and command the most powerful army on earth. Guess who they thought that was? Obama. Well, did Mahdi come? No, no Mahadi, so that one also failed. Number 8, September 23rd, marking the end of Daniel's 70th week. The theory was, if you count 49 prophetic years from the date Jerusalem was recaptured, which was June 7th, 1967, it takes you to September 23rd, 2015, which is the exact same day of the 70th Jubilee. Well, no one really knew what the significance of this prophecy was. Some said that we we're going to experience a great distress of nations, possibly the beginning of the rapture. But anyhow, that date passed and no rapture, nothing cataclysmic. This prophecy also failed. Coming in at number seven, Rabbi Shaim Kanevsky said that the Messiah would be returning at the end of the sabbatical year. This man is a leading authority in ultra-Orthodox Judaism. He's a pillar in the Jewish community, and he's written authoritative books on the Torah law. He was, back in early 2015, urging Jews to immigrate back to Israel right then and there to help herald the Messiah's coming. When he was asked when he felt that the Messiah was going to come, he said at the end of the sabbatical year, which was the day Elu 29 which ended up being Saturday, September 12th, 2015. Did Messiah come? No, no Messiah. So that prophecy also failed. Now why? Because the Messiah came 2,000 years ago and died for your and my sins, amen? I pray our Jewish friends will accept that someday. Coming at number six, the Mayan 5,126 years cycle. Now the Mayan cycle apparently has 5,126 years. And people said that if you count from September 11, 2001 till September 23rd, 2015, it brings us to 5,126 days. And bloggers were commenting that they're all connected. This is it folks. It's real and it's this year. Did anything happen? No, failed. This prophecy also failed. No end of the world, nothing cataclysmic. Number five, Jade Helm, which took place July 15th, 2015 to September 15th, 2015. It was an eight weeks summer ops special forces training across several of the southwestern states, parts of California, a lot of Nevada, Arizona, Utah, Texas, Colorado, and they were having nighttime drills, and it says that they were expected to have human interaction. The tagline for Jade Helm was mastering the human domain. Now people were quite suspicious of this, and many theories came out that the US military would be focusing its operations on gun owners to not disarm them, but to blow them away, quote unquote. It was said that Helm was an acronym for Homeland Eradication of Local Militants. 
An interesting survey of Republicans in May found that 32% thought that the government was trying to take over Texas. And there was actually counter Jade Helm movements where civilians were locating and tracking and observing these military exercises. Well, Jade Helm came and went. What happened? Failed. No government takeover. Nothing big happened. Now, I am not saying that the U.S. government will not have a role in Bible prophecy because it does. As a matter of fact, you could go to my website, revelationrevealedtoday.com. I have a presentation entitled United States and Bible Prophecy. And the Bible reveals in Revelation 13 that the U.S. does play a very key role in the last moments of Earth's history, and it's not good. Go check it out. Moving on to number four. The 70th Jubilee year in history, ending September 23rd. So September 23rd is the end of the 70th Jubilee in all of history. And it's the 40th Jubilee from Christ's death, which people thought was significant, the 70th Jubilee since the Exodus. And also, it was claimed that it was the 120th Jubilee since the fall of man. And people said it was going to be the end of probationary time. Some were saying that the tribulation would definitely occur, that it would be the start of Daniel's 70th week. And so people were saying, be ready for rapture high alert any time from the start of the Jubilee, September 23rd, 2015, and onwards. Well, September 23rd came and went. No tribulation, no rapture. This one also failed. Number three. The collapse of the U.S. dollar on September 23, 2015. And the reasons were because of falling oil prices, skyrocketing debt, and a failing European economy, amongst many other things. Was there a collapse? No, this one also failed. However, I want to say here that this one is unavoidable. And we need to be getting prepared for it. It's going to happen someday. And the best way is, by preparing spiritually, but understanding what Bible prophecy really teaches and not getting tricked by all these speculative theories. So, no collapse of the US dollar, not yet. Number two is the fourth blood moon on September 28th. I actually, my wife and I saw this one ourselves. We went outside and witnessed it. And it was the fourth of four blood moons. And John Hagee said that a total of four blood moons all appearing on Jewish feast days, which was very rare. And that's, quote unquote, in times past, the rare appearance of four blood moons on these feast days has coincided with major events for Israel and the Jewish people. And that something significant would happen to Israel. Possibly Israel would use their military to stop Iran from getting a nuclear bomb. Something significant would happen. Well, that blood moon came and went. Nothing significant happened. That prophecy also failed. All right, friends, last but not least, taking the number one spot has to be the end of the Shemitah year, September 13th, 2015. And this whole theory was sparked by Rabbi Khan, who has been coined America's prophet. And he is the director of Hope of the World Outreach, and he also leads the Jerusalem Center located in Wayne, New Jersey. And he was the author of The Harbinger, which was a huge book, a New York Times bestseller, two million distributed. And he came out with his second book in 2014, The Mystery of the Shemitah. It debuted at number five on Amazon's top 100 list. And it sold so fast, they had to do a reprinting just shortly after it came out. Rabbi Khan has said, that he received a revelation from God that the ancient statue of the Shemitah was still in effect today. And it was a day of financial wiping out of debts and accounts. And he said it was precise to the day, hour, even to the seconds. And for the last 40 years, he said every U.S. economic collapse has happened on the Shemitah year. And the majority of crashes in the world have happened on Shemitah years. And Khan said that he is, quote unquote, careful not to predict what will happen in the coming Shemitah year, but he did say it will be a climactic day. Well, that Shemitah day came and went September 13th, and nothing. No wiping out of U.S. finances, no economic collapse. That prophecy also failed. 
Now that doesn't mean that we're doing great, we're still in debt by the trillions, but it didn't happen on the Shemitah. Okay, so why? Why did all those prophecies fail? There is one main reason why all 10 of those prophecies failed. And the reason is, none of them were Bible prophecies. Now some of them got their theories from the Bible, but they misapplied the texts. Friends, don't find your prophecy in the fiction section of the Christian bookstore. Rest your beliefs on the solid rock of God's Word. If you've been blessed, please share this video with someone you know. God bless you in your pursuit of truth.